Hello, Joanne's fans! <laughs> Today I will uh, show a quick video, actually a quick demonstration, but the main things what I want to share with you guys, how all who working in the salon actually uh, dealing daily with the situation, what sometimes make difficult time to us. Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. For example, when the customer coming with an image and she asks you to make exactly 100% like that, okay? Uh, that is not easy, nor even to me too, okay? Because first of all, uh, you maybe doesn't have that kind of material or maybe you don't have idea who made this nail art how she did or he did okay and the second uh they most of the time they don't send the image before the appointment they just show up and tell show uh, the phone okay i want that you can do that so how i can help on that i will teach you how you can analyze the image and which step step by step how you build up and do as closer as possible that design okay why i choose that topic today because on the, uh, the facebook i find someone who actually ask help from the public here is the one i don't show who uh, asking but you see the question hello hi can i achieve this style is there a certain polish or technique or video i can watch to help me understand so for example the customer coming oh i want that it's easy just a teeny tiny flowers <laughs> yes it's really really easy so for example on this image you have to thinking you have similar gel polish because what i see have one kind of white base which can be milky not too uh, uh, super white so i do not recommend to use something which is deadly white okay so something more milky for example i do not use the art white from the colorate for that because that is super white and this in the picture is have to be kind of milky or off white okay the second you have to thinking you have similar color that image is i'm pretty sure uh that who made is a japanese girl because the style is how painting and the color is japanese style okay but i don't know who made that it doesn't matter okay i just teaching if the customer coming pop show up with something like that how you can make really really closer uh the design okay so you have to find any kind of peachy color or gel polish or you can mix it. for example i acting like i don't have peachy color okay so i used the picasso peach for that i don't know if it's with uh, how can give the justice or not because you know camera and that is other camera and that is photoshop uh, retouch already so you just find a similar and i used of course the flexible uh, stickers from joans because that you can uh, squeeze on and make curving smile line or the cuticle area as she did of course will be not totally same because the nail is for her is regular like like a oval shape and that is a little bit pointed whatever i just want uh, imitated okay okay i see on the camera is looks hard uh, really big differences but in the real life it's really close the color okay somehow i see it's more neonish <laughs> in the camera but it's peach and if i see to the phone it's similar in the real naked eye if you see okay uh 
that color generally i tell you it's semi-transparent color okay not full coverage color okay but at the end you have to do something similar the other things so here is the milky white what i will be using just the white and matte surface and the design what the customer asking for is raised up okay every raised up uh, design have to be on the top so if you want matte surface you have to finish the color with the matte top coat or shiny you have to finish with the shiny one okay and something the material what you're using make sure the line is doesn't uh, running when you two line is go close uh, they will not um, incorporating into one okay so have to be the line work separate because that is teeny tiny little droplet uh, shape and make sure the material most of the time the gel polishes if you put each other next to each other this close they will incorporate into one okay so by this reason i do not recommend to use any kind of gel polish okay and the plus uh, one thing, for example, so easy, use the Picasso peach color, right? Now, that is, you cannot do that. The Picasso cream peach is just perfect to them. I tell you, as color wise, it's perfect, okay? However, those are super pigmented, like concentrate of uh, the pigment, and you cannot. Uh, painting with them any kind of raised up design because that born to be flat any kind of flat design okay that is make sense so you have to find the gel which able as an ingredient they developed for embossing like raised up level design that is embossed design because it's elevated from the surface okay why is important because that kind of material if you buying this kind of material they will curing through okay so i can do design with the picasso exactly that but after the curing time i will realize is isn't cured or doesn't cure through okay so you can't do not make used uh, that uh, gel the Picasso cream or the Picasso for any kind of raised up what you can do you can use the embossing gel okay the embossing gel exactly born to be raised up design okay so that material that gel is developed for for embossing effect okay now that is easy we have uh, i don't know how many maybe 12 15 color but of course the customer coming a specific uh, color tone okay i tell ya maybe it doesn't see through on the camera beautifully but one color two color three color four color of the green okay if i developing to you guys this quantity of shade from one color that mean more than 200 gel you must have to buy which is just uh, uh, crazy okay so i help you how you can make exactly that color that design okay and how you manipulating that okay hi everyone thank you for joining me <laughs> so quickly if someone just joined us if the customer coming with the picture how you analyzing what you have to do to achieve that style okay so first see the colors if you don't have how you can create the colors i will teach you how you create those color exactly okay second you have to analyze that is raised up mean micro 3d effect that mean is not flat okay that point you already know 
the nail have to be coated with top gel or matte top gel like under the design is matte top or shiny top okay so the raised up design is always on the top of the top gel okay and of course it's cured the top gel and i you can painting the gold with that or simple just used the flexible sticker liner sticker to create that effect so let's do it okay again we have uh, the joans have a, a real 3d which is super firm okay super not firm mean super uh, keep the shape as you applied okay we have the embossing gel which keep the shape this is why the line will not incorporate into one if you uh, uh, applied too close each other okay and uh, we have the picasso gels which is uh, absolutely for flat design okay so i i already uh, did two version honey that is not nice right now i just tried to make the color uh, exactly as the the original uh, creator made and uh, but one is shiny on the top shiny one is coated with top okay sometimes if the customer is uh, uh, using uh, harsh chemical or uh, she filing back because she working with something you know so always scratching the surface it's better if you using top coat or i will do right now exactly as the original made honestly i do not know who made that i pretty sure is a japanese girl and uh, i just because that is the knowledge what you need how you can make it which kind of point you have to make it okay so that is what i want to teach to you uh doo -doo 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 -doo. let's see i will be using the embossing gel because i want embossed the uh, design that mean raised up from the surface okay i applying white on multiple i will mixing a little bit more to make sure you guys see how I manipulate the color and how I do exactly this color because those color is mixed okay so that is not exist color <clears throat> thank you for joining me now right now a little witchcraft okay and don't worry do not stress out i already tell you i will using blue for this design and yes you question marking right now why is she using blue it's just green a peachy a little bit orangish color no blue at all i will explaining why so i'm using the blue I just applying from the embossing and I will applying uh, a little bit of the nude the natural nude color Okay, I just uh, add more because I don't know how many I'm mixing right now. I just do not want to uh, spend time. Of course, you're just mixing as many color as you want. Or as n what, how many color need exactly. So, why I'm using the blue? Henny lose her mind. <laughs> so, we will mixing the color to match with uh, the image what the customer show 
uh, to us okay what i see i see have a peachish orangish but more like peach okay have two color of that on this i think you see better i try to zoom okay so you already see have lighter and darker color okay sometimes she used the light sometimes she used the dark okay if you see the bottom or maybe on that is better okay so she used like nudish color two color one is darker one is lighter it's not a white it's more like a beige color you see two color of that and from the peachy have one lighter pe lighter color so for the peachy have two already here is the third and the new dish minimum two color because that is looks really similar to me okay and what i see here it's more visible okay of the green have super dark and lighter color but still uh, green and have another tone of that so this and this is have to be minimum three greenish okay to achieve the the dark darker part i will using the blue because i'm calling right now my picasso picasso creams are even the classic picasso or uh the cream one those are working prof uh, perfectly as a color booster for this reason to not just for one stroke okay so that olive you already see it's more darker it's more darker and less yellowish because that is like more like machata like like different color okay not a uh, uh, palm leaf color or olive green okay but why i'm using because i need a darker and i take it to here and take off from your metal tone okay that is important because let's see only the leftover on my tool it's perfectly enough to make turn to green the whole gel look no blue anymore i told you a color booster okay take it off and mixing why i'm doing that because embossing give the texture of the gel to make it embossed but the color booster is make change the color you see that was the picasso i don't use any more of that I just show have same quantity but honestly I just used which is the leftover on my uh, uh, metal tool and let's do the another one make greenish look because it's less of the green it's more like machata color and more lighter okay I scoop to one side because I need uh, that of that and take it off some because I do the third one okay so darker lighter and that will be more lighter if you need extra extra dark just use simple the carbon of the Picasso I take it off really take it off because i don't need black and i go back take it out some and i'm mixing a super duper dark if you need look here is the super dark version of the green okay and right now <coughs> i just wipe it off 
and I add white. to this you see this is why I mixed with blue because I need like a machata green and I want darker and I only need some of two lighter this is how the white turn immediate light color okay you are with me <laughs> I'm sorry maybe it sounds like like difficult but not and uh, you have to play with that to experience i do strongly recommend because so much fun and the picasso creams and the classic picasso too give you a really really good uh, a chance to create any kind of shade honestly any kind of shade of the colors you can mix in with them so again, I just take it off and let's see how come out. I wish it's a light peachy color. Mm -hmm. And more lighter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here is already the two shade. If you want darker, you can add more. For example, I just just do not turn crazy because again, that is just coloring. You have to understand the embossing gel it's able to cure beautifully, but if you add too much, have a chance uh you messed up so just a tiny tiny and I come to here too to make a little bit darker just because I see the image and I mixing till I find the proper colors here we are and the next one is the new dish color hi everyone thank you for joining me so the new dish color is I mix the nude with the white. Simple. Okay, that will be one. And I think I need a white more. I just want to see the color. Mm -hmm. A little yellowish tone. So I'm using the peachy to mixing. Like a nudish light color. Mm -hmm. Mixing that one too. And I will add dark to this. So I add more of the nude to darkening. Here we are. Okay, so I mixed the custom made colors what need for the image what the customer show me. Okay. And let's start to recreate. I'm just looking my brush, which is the fine lace. and i will try to do that one of course i did that because i want to show if it's longer that is more much longer than the original one and i already realized have between the bottom and the top have an empty space here so i just add manually as continuously the design add more line work okay so that is looks looks same but because it's longer 
that customer nail, you have to adjust, okay? It doesn't mean make bigger flower because the customer want that kind of delicate small flower. But you have to, here was really, really empty. You don't see right now, but it was ugly, empty, white, and looks like unbalanced. So I just continue and make a connection with the hole, okay? But I do right now the original one. So have to be same or similar. <coughs> and I will start painting from the cuticle area, which is a flower, okay? Don't forget it, do not touch the original Picasso, which is that line, that tree is original. You don't, uh, you can't painting with the original one. So first it have to be a flower. I add that on the center. that I had bigger a little bit it will be easy to pull okay and I add that that so because that is the half and I need darker lighter darker lighter darker lighter darker petal okay so I add to like here, it doesn't have to be totally geometrically perfect, but approximately the dot size and the position have to be balanced. Okay, that and that. Honestly, I do not even count it how many petal the original one. I show you how it's make to me easy okay so because i see the size i add more where i need oh i just grab my glasses <laughs> not the wine one <laughs> for my vision <laughs> so that again come back to make sure it's same size and don't worry that will be beautifully cured because i'm using the embossing gel okay <clears throat> and I will pull it into the center okay so touch down and pull it touch down and pull it always pull to the center point okay make more wider to this side touch down and pull it widening touch down and pull it okay if you want add more because you see it's flat you can touch again touch the whole surface with the brush and pull it again okay mm -mm, I don't need I just do widening and pull it widening and pull it okay I check right now the shape and it's smooth can retouch till uh, it's cured you have you have a chance to modify the shape and I see the flatness it's same uh, or not have to be kind of balanced okay and I rolling on the paper uh, the palette and coming the lighter color So let's touch down and pull it. Touch down 
and pull it. A little pearl, touch them and pull it. Touch them and pull it. Okay. I know it's boring, but she made this quantity of beta, so I must have to to make same as she did. This is why it's not easy to make uh, flower if someone already made. If I do, I do different way, okay? But however, the customer coming with the image and she wants exactly that. So, next one. Uh, on the bottom, I already see have another half, kind of half petal. So I go to, oh, oh, I touch the original Picasso. That is the mixture, okay? It's important to use the, only the mixture. So, point, a little bit bigger, and pull it. point and pull it that and pull it okay maybe I add a little bit to here to make balanced do not let cure that point Again, okay, coming the lighter, that and pull it, that and pull it. So what is the next one? The decadent two image, two flower is already painted, okay? The other decadent on this image, the leafy things. So let's do the leafy things. First, I'm using the perfect line always. I switch the uh, I switch the brush for the perfect line. And I use the darker version just loading a little bit the brush, but again, I do not want to painting with that uh, thick line, okay? So I try to do like curving from here. That is a vein of the leaf actually, okay? Do not really matter because uh, you will painting on the leaves. So you will kind of hide it. That is just for you as a guideline where or how long supposed to be okay a little bit longer okay so that is just help to me as the base and let's painting so start starting with the darker one I go back again the fine lace okay lighter okay here we are <clears throat> and have one which is coming this direction and other coming the opposite direction she did that because here coming some kind of flowery unopened flower okay so that is like a little nest to the the little petals okay and all beta will follow the line so darker you know what do it first that part okay because this will be help if one part you build so difficult to do the opposite uh, side to same so always i go one 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 
okay one one okay I go to the lighter one isn't it not too much uh, difference but it's have differences so pull it okay and I'm going to here too coming to here I think it's one more one more and they're going to the light because that is lighter color here okay and you already created a nice shade of the green okay go back again okay always check if too much you see I sometimes I just touch down to make sure I do not apply to the nail surface too thick because it will be cool but uh, uh, she doesn't want a real 3d she wants just the embossed effect okay go smaller I'm going oh here too and right now I'm going the more lighter always when I pick up I just mixing everything on the brush to make sure it's not mm, marbled so I need just only the machata green okay and what else here coming one more okay and right now it's turned to a little bit up to finish the design like this it's depending how far you uh, draw to from the cuticle area you have to fill them to make it not empty okay so here we are and I take it off the excess gel from the brush <coughs> and coming the new dish one so first coming the darker which is will be here and pull it I just show back how we are so far okay <coughs> and second that is a little bit uh, curving and the third okay and I touch the lighter color one two okay that have to be a little bit more of the gel and here and here I always check the time and always I start to do more faster <laughs> so and she have a three droplet of green which is start with the darker and go to the lighter machata color <coughs> big okay here we are uh, 
and I just made too quickly so I do separate and this is why good the embossing because if I add too much I always can separate them and we'll keep the shape okay I try to read the comment, I check the hour, <laughs> so, so sometimes I get uh, really too fast something. So, and I have the three petal kind, which is come from the lighter peach. One. two and one and two and the light nude something like that and uh, of course to the center needed the green okay and to me to get balanced I will add extra dot lighter green to here and uh, peachy to here just because I like this way okay and I will be using <coughs> the acrylic to powdering because all you can keep shiny like that but I want to show as a matte uh, surface so I'm using the acrylic clear if you want or simple just let it cure and after 10 seconds wipe it with alcohol that way it will not shiny uh, the embossing gel okay but right now I'm doing the mat I'm just looking the little spoony thing I find it okay and let's sprinkle on Do not dip into the acrylic powder because the customer sweating. Even if you did disinfect her hand and every other customer, she is sweating. The skin is evaporating. Mm. And let it cure. Okay, that quantity of acrylic is nothing. Throw away, okay? Because, uh, you know, She's sweating, everyone's sweating. And I will need a dust brush, which is not on my table. So I just will remove with my gloves the dust. And let's see how come out the end. So what I wanna show or I wanna teach you, even if you don't have, honestly, that is a Japanese uh, girl who made a pretty sure like but the gel is Japanese for sure ingredient because I have Japanese uh, friends and I make a product for them too so I recognize that color however uh, if you don't have exactly this is how you can make and do same totally same or similar okay the customer doesn't want totally same first of all everybody have different size of the nail not just the length the wideness okay so this design is exactly balanced only for that size so you have to make uh, approximately fit with the nail so if you have to you can add extra as I did here uh, on the side you already see or if you have to protecting because she will lose the design 
because she using any kind of um, like like a file you know a lot of kind of job or using chemical so have some customer who will always l losing on the top designs not because doesn't cure because on uh, how she wear okay how she uh, using the 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 nails so you can coating that is the coat that version okay i don't have my dust brush and i no idea where it is so i just quickly remove or here we are the 3d realistic embossed design okay here's three version of three different kind and <clears throat> Guys, the color on the monitor, I tell ya, is showed totally different. But it's in my hand, it's totally color match. Okay, with naked eye, it's totally color match. I know it doesn't show on the camera because I see the camera too. Okay, so here we are. This is how you can uh, achieve that kind of uh, design exactly what she did that is the matte version but i used the simple you know what i because i don't have dress brush i want to make sure i removed every acrylic so i wiping with alcohol to remove every extra okay F extra dust so here we are if you see it's so funny on the camera is more yellowish no it's totally same orangey color tone i tell you <laughs> but exactly that is the design what uh, uh, she asking for a little bit raised up that is the matte version honestly to me the original one is is more like that okay is not really the the matte surface okay just here the base is shiny too and a little bit beigey because i just try to color matching okay but that is exactly uh, what on the picture okay so this is how you can try it always start analyzing okay first colors second i already see the the golden or she painted or not honestly honey just buy it joans.com those are not simple or liner i know everybody have liner okay pretty sure you have already that is flexible and uh, squeezable so that means you can make perfectly around the cuticle area or whatever smile line okay so that is the first what i realized base color shiny surface matte surface and on the surface she used embossing gel okay but i have just five color of the embossing gel you can use the picasso with the embossing to add uh, as color booster to make special color from uh, the picasso we have 84 color honestly all color but you need <laughs> and always if embossing used the embossing gel because that is will cure properly through okay i hope uh you guys uh like that kind of tutorial because it's i think is uh really really important and it's honestly i'm with you and not fair from the customer to arriving on the appointment and uh, show you something what you never see before but 2022 customer is just operating like that so this is how we can uh, make uh, something happen so you can mixing and you can do that all right so i hope you guys uh, love this video don't forget it subscribe on the the youtube channel if you like uh, i will post it uh, more on the youtube channel only to my uh, sweet friends and uh, contact with me let me know how you like it or what do you want because always i pick something that is i find a sweet nail tech uh, 
kind of friend. We, we don't know each other, but, uh, but it's a good question what she did. And I see everybody answer, and I want to show all version, like acrylic, coated, but to me on the image is like that one, just matte the base, what I did shiny before, okay? So to achieve that look, you must have to use embossing gel and uh, the uh, finest brush, okay? I love you guys. Don't forget it. Love each other and practicing and uh, shoot me with question. Ciao.